today I'm going to be doing an Edie Sedgwick makeup look. I already did my face makeup and I drew in my eyebrows. I did them a little bit um, thicker and darker than I normally would because Edie is kind of known for that really full brow. The first thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Milk. It's just a flat white um, cream eyeshadow color. And I'm going to take that all over the lid. It doesn't have to be neat because we're going to blend it out. I'm going to take it from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. And I'm just blending that out with my ring finger. After you've finished, um, then you're going to take a matte white eyeshadow. I'm using NYX again in the shade 02 White. You're just going to want to take that everywhere you just put the jumbo eyeshadow pencil. Just to kind of lock in that color. Next, I'm going to take a matte black color. I'm using Blackout from the Naked 2 palette and a small pencil brush from MAC. This is the 219. You want to take that into the crease Don't worry about it being too neat because we're going to blend it a little bit. But you want to try and keep it as straight as possible. You just want to follow that hollow in your eye socket. When you get towards the end, you kind of want to flick it out just a little bit. And you don't want to go past the end of your eyebrow. And just go back in and clean it up a little bit. After you've gotten your desired shape, you want to take a blending brush. I'm using MAC 217. You want to just lightly blend that color out. You don't want to lose that line, but you just want to kind of diffuse the harsh edge just a little bit. After you're finished blending, you might need to go back in with that black color just to darken it a little bit more. After you're satisfied with that eye, you want to go ahead and do the same thing on the other one. Next, you want to take your favorite liquid or gel liner and an eyeliner brush. I'm using Clinique in True Black and the Real Technique Fine Liner Brush. I find it easier to keep your eyes open while you're lining your eyes as opposed to closing it and pulling at the corner. Once you're finished, go ahead and line the other eye. Next, we're going to take a white eyeliner. I'm using my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil again and line the inner rim of your eyes. Make sure you get the inner corners really well. We're going to take the same black eyeliner we used on top and we're going to line the lower lash line with it. Not the inner rim, you want to line right under the lashes.
We also want to flick it out and kind of like make a parallel line between the top liner, if you know what I mean. Maybe. Like that. Sometimes Edie would draw on some bottom lashes on the end. I would prefer to use some individual lashes, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw them on for you. This is totally optional. Next, I'm going to put some false eyelashes on. These are by Ardell, and they're called Fashion Lashes, number 106, black. In my opinion, the easiest way to put false eyelashes on is to have a mirror. I'm just using my Naked 2 palette to hold it underneath your chin and to put them on looking down. Oops. While I'm waiting for the eyelashes to dry, I'm going to move on to the cheeks. I'm using Harmony by MAC and the MAC 109 blush, and I'm just going to contour in the cheeks a little bit. And a little bit under the chin and along the jawline. Edie had a really small face. So we're going to try and recreate that a little bit. I'm going to put a little style by MAC on the apples of my cheeks. It's just like a warm, peachy, corally color. Now that the glow is just about dry, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Maybe. Careful not to pull off not only the fake eyelashes but your real eyelashes. I'm then going to apply my favorite um, mascara to the Ico Skinny Brush Mascara. Normally I would put mascara on before I put the false lashes on but I forgot. Moving on to the lips, I'm using MAC um, Lip Pencil in the color Oak. Any nude pencil will do. I'm then taking another MAC lipstick in Myth, which is a very pale nude, and I'm just going to put it in the center of the lips. This step is optional, but if you want to draw on Edie Sedgwick's signature mole, that's my Edie Sedgwick makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, you should be looking pretty psychedelic right about now.